Welcome to round six of the Mid-East Racing season for the Youth Quad Division. This week, we are back in Union, South Carolina at the Pine Zone 9 track. Unlike the last few rounds, there was almost no mud and only water was at the creek crossing. We were in for a dust bowl. On the front row, the new challenger, Trevor Meadows, has looked fierce in his first two starts. Today, he's looking to go back-to-back -back with two victories in a row. Jordan Berg is looking to bounce back and get out front in the overall as well. Cody Whitaker is hoping to make sure that doesn't happen and wants to keep his points lead. How you gonna do today? Hopefully win. Just get out front and just smoke him, right? Yeah. You take the whole shot and just can't let him by. Yep. That seems to be the strategy on this class. Yeah. Whoever gets the whole shot almost always gets the win. Yeah, it's tough passing. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, good luck today, man. Thank you. In the intermediate stock division, Ryder Malney has been pouring on the competition, winning all but one race so far. Trey Luckadoo is lining up there as well for the first time this year, looking to see what he can do on a new quad. One row ahead of the intermediate stock is the girls 6-11 to division, and these ladies are battling not only themselves, but they've been trying to beat Ryder Malney as well and not letting him by. Brianna Beatty has won four of the last five rounds and is looking to pull away in the points lead. However, Kenley Wilson and Cadence Ellis are not wanting to let that happen and take the lead for themselves. What are you going to do today, man? Try to get another win, just have some fun. Thank you, thank you. You the whole shot on the road to show off, right? Yep. Yeah, good luck, man. Thanks. What are you going to do today, man? Yeah. You show him how to race, right? Yeah. <laughs> As a green flag waves, it's not the start Cody Whitaker wanted as he falls back quickly. Meanwhile, Jordan Berg bolts out front, managing to beat everybody into the woods. If would come out of the woods for the first time, Jordan Berg would have the lead, followed by Cody Whitaker and Trevor Meadows. Laps 1 and 2 looked as if it was Jordan Berg's race to lose. However, unfortunately for him, on the third lap, he started having quad troubles and was losing power. On the fourth lap, he would end up blowing his motor and be unable to finish. Ryder Monty would check out early and start battling it out with the girl classes ahead of him, trying to crack into the top 10 overall. The next three spots in class would be a revolving door with a different order every single lap, a nearly a different person in each one as well.
At the midway point of the race, we didn't know it yet, but the race was basically over. There would only be one position change in the last three laps in the entire senior modified division, and that would be Taylor Cato taking fourth place from Dylan Bothwell. Cody Whitaker would go on to win by over two and a half minutes. Jared Meadows would be able to hold off Jesse Styles, who would be right on his bars for most of the race, giving those two second and third place. How was the race today, man? Good. How'd you get out in front? Um, I got, I was like third in the woods and then caught up to Trevor, passed him, and then caught up to Jordan, and unfortunately had issues with his quad, and then I was able to just stay out front and just race from there. Don't well, stay out front, it's easy, right? Yeah. We gotta start getting you getting them whole shots, man. Just get out yeah. front early and just don't look back. Yeah. You have a good race today, man. Thank you. Yeah, man, good race. As the laps ticked on, Cadence Ellis got faster and faster with each lap, improving on her previous. Every single lap of her race would get faster. This would prove to be too much for the ladies, and she would pull away and win by a comfortable margin. Brianna Beatty came in second place, and Brooklyn Harris rounded out your top three in the class. When the dust was settled out at the end, Gavin Smith would have nabbed second place on the last lap from Lawson Knight, who managed to get third. Rodermani would win the class and end up 11th overall on the day. The real photo finish came between Cadence Ellis and Rodermani. As you can see here, Cadence managed to hold them off in the end. I heard you said you were going to be passing somebody today. You got money with your feet. I heard you said you were going to be passing somebody. Yeah, I catch her and then she starts running my pace when I catch her. I, I made her right over her head, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Thank you. Good race today, man. Thank you, man. How was the race today? Good. How'd you end up doing? I got first. Heck yeah. What was the best part about the track? Uh, the creek. That's awesome. I heard that you uh, weren't going to let Ryder by today. Nope. And you kept him behind you, didn't you? Yep. Good race. Thank you. That completes our coverage of round six, Pine Zone 9. As always, if there's any classes or individual riders you think we should follow, please let us know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.